What's up, everybody? Today we'll be talking of a streamer on Twitch called Nadia. And basically what she did is that she decided to dox one of the viewers that she didn't like that was criticizing her. Imagine being so butthurt that you're willing to dox a viewer because he's talking shit about you. That is crazy. And honestly, she's been doing this for a while. She should have a thicker skin, but I guess not. So we're going to be looking at multiple facets of this incident. First, let's take a look at the actual doxing. Obviously, the guy's name was redacted. So check this out. I just want to say Daddy Slayer. I know you used your name as Daddy Slayer, and you, you said enjoy using cheats. But what you don't know is that when you send me money on PayPal, it actually gives me your full name. So, Charlie, thank you for the dollar dono, Charlie. I hope that for whatever reason, you find actual time to do something in your fucking life because now you look like a fucking idiot. Again, Charlie. And space, if anyone wants to know. don't appreciate that that will go towards my mcdonald's happy meal so the guy was criticizing her anonymously on twitch but he was sending her small paypal donations with his name now usually that's not a problem because nobody would expect a streamer to get so salty over criticism that they will start doxing you but i guess this one has such thin skin that she decided to do just that. Now let's think about it for a second. All she released was the guy's first and last name, right? Not a big deal? Wrong. Because she has an army of simps, of little soy boys, little grown ass men that think they have a chance at getting with her and they'll do anything she asks. They'll do her bidding just to get into her good graces to try to actually get in her pants. Newsflash, that's not going to happen. She's not going to get in bed with you no matter what you do. But these simps are absolutely desperate and will do whatever she says. Now let's move on to the next clip where you'll see one of the worst apology on YouTube. It's so bad because she's basically not even acknowledging what she did wrong. In today's video, I want to address something that happened to me this morning. I um I woke up this morning and I got a knock from my roommate, Dante, telling me that I was banned on Twitch. I was very confused. I really didn't understand what happened. I mean, I just woke up and to be honest, I thought he was like pranking me for a second and I looked at my phone with a bunch of messages saying that I was banned. I was terrified. Like, I can't imagine what I do in two weeks of not streaming. I love streaming. I don't even like to take days off because how much I love it. I look forward to this every day. So when I saw that, I genuinely was scared and it was probably one of the most terrifying moments of my life. But um, I got banned on Twitch for 14 days. And here's the reason. I got banned for sharing personal information about somebody. So I kept getting a donation that popped up my stream labels. And it was a person that was sending me hate and the name was anonymous and they did it four times i was confused because one i'm just like okay the first time you know i do get hate on donations sometimes because you know they think it's funny to just have it pop up on the screen and i, I usually do get that it, it, this is not new but i haven't had somebody do it four times boo hoo cry me a river this woman is so dumb she just got butt hurt because somebody was criticizing her news flash criticism is fantastic for the channel for twitch or for youtube when you have more interactions that's actually good for the algorithm it promotes your videos more every single comment helps promote your video I could never imagine getting so butthurt that I would feel the need to dox a viewer. That is mind blowing. I know that some creators sometimes dox each other, but that's creator to creator. For a creator to dox a viewer, I don't think I've heard that before. It's a new low for streamers. Anyways, this woman is completely out of her mind. She got her feelings hurt. Let's keep listening to her half ass apology. In a row. When I saw that, I was honestly really irritated and in a moment of weakness, I said, when I, when, when you get a donation on your phone, the name of the person pops up. So I said the person's first and last name. And I just want to point out that all I did was say his first and last name. I know that there's rumors going around that I leaked the address of the person, but I didn't. I only said their first and last name. But looking back at it and having the time to reflect, I realized that wasn't the best way to combat the hate. And I should have played into it how I normally play into like hate comments and stuff, how I troll them back. But I didn't. And like I said, in a moment of weakness, I kind of just said what was on my mind. And I realized now that I shouldn't have done that. This year has been one of the craziest years of my life. And there's a lot of stuff that happened to me. Um, 
you know, with streaming, I, I blew up. I, my life has changed completely. And with that came a lot of good things, but then also, you know, the hate that came along with it. And I mean, like, if you go look at my TikTok comments right now, they're mostly hate. And I do plan to it. I'm not trying to play the victim card. What I'm saying is though, is I'm still trying to learn from it. I made a mistake and I do apologize to Twitch and I appreciate them for unbanning me, by the way. Thank you very much. And I want to continue this. And I know when continuing this, I'm going to continue getting more hate. So I need to learn how to deal with this. And and I'm going to. So as you can see, she's not being genuine whatsoever. She doesn't mean the apology. She doesn't even really acknowledge that what she did was reckless and that she is held to a higher standard. You can't just start doxing viewers on your live streams. That's ridiculous. And I'm going to show you a clip that will further hammer the point home that she should be the last person doxing. Because six months prior to this incident, she actually got swatted. So the cops came to her house because her info got leaked online. Now, what is she doing six months later? She's leaking other people's info online, which is ridiculous. I can't stand this woman. Oh, my God. I seriously don't get it. I just don't get it. You're on the internet. You're streaming. You're used to this. How do you get so butthurt over a simple comment? Absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, watch this. If you guys don't know, I got swatted the other day and I really want to talk about it. Swatting is a very serious problem in the streaming industry and I don't think it should be taken lightly, which is why I really want to talk about what happened and how it happened. And just also the extremities of what swatting can do to people. People have died because they've gotten swatted falsely. So a couple of days ago, I was just playing the game, streaming, and I hear a loud knock on my door. And also the doorbell kept going off. But I was terrified. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. And my family wasn't home. So I called my dad and I asked my dad, where was he? Because sometimes my sister locks herself out and she knocks really hard. So I was thinking that maybe it could be my sister. I was just really terrified and I didn't know what to do. So I called. And my dad told me that they were at the store. So I knew it wasn't them. And I was terrified. I genuinely thought somebody was trying to kill me. And yes, it was daylight. I wasn't really thinking about it, but I was still scared. And I kept getting phone calls. So I wasn't really answering them. I didn't know what to do. But then I answered it. And it was the police. They were telling me that I was getting swatted. And I need to come out with my hands up in the air. When I went outside, I saw like 20 police officers outside looking at me. And they told me that there was a serious threat called in and they needed to come inside. So I told them they could come inside. They saw that nothing happened and they made me write a police report and write down all my information so whoever this was can be investigated. So you just heard it right out of her mouth that she fully experienced what it is to be swatted and it was a terrifying experience. And all of that came from her personal information being leaked online. So why would she want to put someone else through that experience? Absolutely ridiculous. Just because they said some comment you don't like, just grow a thicker skin. Fuck, you're on the internet. And if you're going to be here longer, you're going to need to grow a much thicker skin because people will hate on you, especially when she's accused of cheating. And it seems like there might be some evidence that that's true. You know, the trolls are going to go ham with that. They're just going to accuse you of it all the time and you got to get used to it. Now, before we wrap up the video, I just want to show you a short clip of one of her simps. It's actually another YouTuber who is defending this woman. I don't know what the hell is wrong with him either. Maybe he thinks he's going to get lucky. He's going to be able to get in her pants if he white knights for her. Newsflash, that's not going to happen. She's not getting in bed with you. You're just thirsty for absolutely no reason. Check this out. Donated like a dollar so that they could be like, oh, you're a cheater. And then she said their name out loud. Uh, is it doxing? Like, yeah, technically. Uh, also, I don't care. We have to stop pretending we care for content because it's so fucking boring. If she had released this guy's like information, like his where he lived, I'd be like, yeah, but th like his name was like, for whatever we know, his name is Charles Barkley. And like, oh, let me Google. Oh, my God, there's 7,500 million fucking Charles Barkley's. In the world. I don't care. Yeah, so this guy doesn't care at all whatsoever. He cares so little that he made a 17-minute video defending the woman. Yeah, okay. Great job, simp. She's still not going to bang you. Oh, my God. Everybody pretending to care is so justified. Shut up! Shut the fuck up. You're the same person that uses the word fucking grooming. Oh, well, technically it's doxing. She said somebody's fucking name. Like, okay, not an ideal. That justifies doxing. Oh, I'm gonna cut. You're gonna eat cum, bro. Stop using words. Oh, yes, it is doxing.
Okay? But it's not fucking dangerous. She said the guy's name because this dickhead wanted to like be annoying and say some shit about her over and over and over again. And she's like, okay, uh, Christopher penis head. Oh, oh my God. Is he dead? No, he's fine. It's not really doxing. I don't care. Oh, technically. Okay. You know what's crazy? If I get a paper cut, technically I cut myself. If I take a razor blade and run it up my fucking arm, technically I cut myself. Which one do you think is worse? This is what I'm talking about. You guys are like, oh, well, you can't you can't cope with the severity of things. And it's so annoying. Because like this is everything. This is oh, guys, Nadi is a doctor. Here's 15 p videos of people on t TikTok pretending that they fucking care. Oh, oh my god, she should be permanently banned. Good, permanently ban her so she can move to YouTube and continue in the fucking destruction of the worthless platform that is Twitch. So yeah, you guys saw this guy blew a fuse just talking about her. Just defending this woman got him so riled up that he's losing his sanity. Anyways, I think we covered everything for this video. We'll definitely be taking a look at that last guy a little bit some more because I have a feeling that there are other hidden gems on his channel. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and I'll see you on the next one.